This demonstration will see how to manage access for mobile devices. So what I've done here, I've come to my Exchange Admin Center. I've come down to the mobile node. Under the mobile node, we have mobile device access. So the first thing we've got here is we've got our Exchange Active Sync access settings. So what we can do here is we can allow synchronization with mobile devices that aren't managed by rules or personal exceptions. We haven't selected any administrators to retrieve any quarantine messages. No custom text is added either. So the first thing we're going to want to do at this point here is we're going to want to click the edit button. Then what we would have here under connection settings, so what we're going to do here is when a mobile device that isn't managed by a rule or personal exception connects to exchange, we can either allow access, we can block access, or we can quarantine and let me decide to block or allow later. So what we're going to do at this point here is we are going to quarantine. The next thing we want to do here is we want our quarantine notification message. So we'll select plus, and what we'll do at this point here is we need to select somebody to receive these messages. So within your organization, chances are you don't log in as administrator, you log in as a standard user, and that standard user will then have permissions to do whatever they need with you know, least privilege. So what I'm going to do for purposes of this demo is we're going to say that AMRA is responsible for looking after the mobile devices. So we'll select AMRA and click Add. We'll then select OK. And what we'll do here is we can include some text. So we'll stick some text in here as well sent to the users when their mobile device is quarantined, blocked, or the process is being identified. Now I'm just going to say your mobile device is being verified and we will keep you informed of the status. What we'll then do is select our save button. What we can also see on this page as well, we could see any quarantine devices that we have in play. And if we scroll it down, we can see any device access rules we've got as well. So I'll select the plus next to the device access rule. What we can then do is we can create device access rules based off device family, for example. So go for all families. And then what we've also got as well is only for this model. So under all families, we could then specify a model. And then we can specify, allow, block, or quarantine. Now our overriding policy is saying anything that's not controlled by one of these device access rules will be quarantined. So just select cancel at this point here. What we can also do is we can manage our device access through Exchange Management Shell. So in Exchange Management Shell, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a new Active Sync Device Access Rule, and I'm going to do that based off Device Operating System, and I'm going to do it against Android version 3.0.0, and the access level I'm going to give that will be to block. So what we'll do is we'll just clear off the screen just to make this a little bit easier to read, and then we'll issue the commandlet in order to block our Android 3 devices. And the command is new hyphen active sync device access rule hyphen characteristic device operating system hyphen query string android 3.0.0 hyphen access level is then going to be block so as we can see it's gone through it's applied the policy if we just come back to our exchange admin center what we can see down at the bottom here is we now have our device access rule you can see apply to Android 3.0 device operating system and this is indeed blocked. The other thing we have here is the mobile device mailbox policy. This can be applied to individual mailboxes and the purpose of this is to enable or disable functionality of the mobile device. So what we have here is we have the default mobile device policy. So if we just expand this up and just edit the rule. So on the default, what we've got is this is the default policy, allow mobile devices that do not fully support those policies to synchronize. So under security, what we could do here is we could require a password. We'll allow simple passwords. We'll require an alphanumeric password and the password must include, as it says here, this many character sets. So what we'll do at this point here, so this is going to be uppercase, lowercase, alphanumeric numbers. We'll say three of the four. Then we'll require encryption on the device. Minimum password length, we'll specify that to be eight. Number of sign-in failures before the device is wiped, we'll specify that to be five. Require sign-in after the device has been inactive, and we'll say that is going to be for 10 minutes. Force password lifetime, we're going to specify that to be 30 days. And password recital count, we'll make it so users have to have 12 unique passwords and what we'll do at this point here we'll then select save and we've now created a mobile device mailbox policy 
So an example of this in the company that I work for, we have to supply at least a four digit pin in order to access our mail on our mobile devices. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thank you.